it's pretty amazing technology. Actually, um, I work for a video game company um, down in San Diego. Uh, I'm the IT director. We had a real I.O. problem. Um, about a year and a half ago, I virtualized my built server environment on VMware. And I was essentially able to take a couple hundred build servers and get them running on about eight HP hosts. Um, and, but I ran into an I.O. problem really, really quickly. And it was a, it was a typical scenario where you, have, you had some storage sitting around, and somebody wanted to prove the concept out. Once you gave it to them, uh, you know, they wouldn't give it back. And it, it was obvious that we had no problem at the hypervisor. The hypervisor on VMware is extremely efficient. It was fast. It was all in latency. My, my build environment is extremely bursty. Uh, we go from, in, in a 30 second overview, uh, I have a, a developer uh, submit or someone, you know, uh, you know, submitting a change to our Perforce database. Uh, and it goes through and activates this VM environment and rolls three or four different builds, maybe Xbox, PlayStation, PS3, does QA automatic uh, checks. And until that build is finished, the pipe backs up. So I have like six or seven different builds, but really the builds that were taking a long time and holding the pipe up were more like an hour and a half, and they dropped down to, I think, I, I think the fastest one dropped down to eight minutes. I've actually got numbers, and I don't know that I've communicated this, uh, but uh, on, I've taken that next sand, and I'm, I'm eval, I'm still evaling backend storage. I've been able to beat a 6080 NetApp device, the same amount of platters on Fiber Channel, with one of their boxes in front of a next sand box with like consumer grade SATA boxes. So it's really about the latency. Um, you got to know if you have an I/O problem. What I saw was we had such an I.O. problem that my performance, uh, this performance I.O. problem was eclipsing all other, you're always going to have a bottleneck. It's where that bottleneck moves to next. This problem was so big I couldn't see any of the other bottlenecks. I thought I had great CPU utilization, you know, and uh, what it turned out was when we dropped this box in, uh, I all of a sudden started using more CPU, better utilization on RAM, and that bottleneck shifted where I could now scale out you know, uh, by just adding maybe more cores or, or whatever. These guys came in late in the game. They were the first ones that could put this thing in our environment. And that screen right there, that's the magic dot screen. Uh, you will, <laughs> you'll love to watch this thing because trying to articulate to a finance type why builds are slowing down and, and if you can show a picture in a graph form to a finance guy, He's going to understand that a lot easier than trying to articulate, well, you know, what milliseconds and latency is, and, you know, look at all this data I pulled out, and it's all numbers, and this is real time. You can put this box on your, on, on your sand that can zone this thing in. These guys put their box in in 24 hours. We pulled the trigger in production, and it was, it was instant benefit, instant benefit.